Well, good afternoon. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Ryan Jungle Kong, and I am the founder and chairman of Organica in Bright Valley. Organica is Korea's leading innovative food company offering plant-based proteins and functional foods, as well as vegan snacks and beverages, while Bright Valley is a fast-growing upstart focusing on plant-based meats and meals. Well, it's the third day of the summit, and by now you've probably heard it all. Not only is Asia uh, poised to become the world's fastest growing plant-based market, but also the few innovators who understand and champion this marketplace will likely emerge as dominant players on the global stage. Well, today I will reiterate and reinforce that notion with the prime example of Korea. Well, Korea, which has undergone uh, perhaps the most dynamic economic transformation in the 20th century, is well known for its leadership in high-tech industries such as semiconductors and mobile phones, as well as for its creative prowess uh, as evidenced by BTS, uh, the Oscar-winning movie Inari and Netflix sensation Squid Games. But what is less known is that it has the highest per capita consumption of meat and seafood in Asia, with an average Korean consuming 150 kilograms of meat and seafood per year uh, that's three times larger than the rest of Asians. Well, uh, against the spectra of Koreans' passion for proteins, coupled with recent progresses in plant-based food, the Korean alternative meat market is witnessing a major upward trend. And uh, according to a recent survey, 80% of Korean customers have, uh, are aware of plant-based meat products, and one-third of them have uh, tried plant-based meat already. Uh, this drastically increased interest in plant-based meat is partly driven by the breakneck growth of the Korean vegetarian population, which has risen tenfold in the past decade. But as in the rest of the world, a major push is coming from millennials and Generation Zs, which constitute 45% of the uh, 40 of the Korean population, and 30% of whom are already practicing flexitarian diets with strong vegan inclinations. But to further accelerate this trend, several problems need to be solved. And first and foremost is the taste and variety of plant-based meat, or lack thereof. But all the customers, of the uh, consumers who have tried plant-based meat, mostly of Western brands, over 70% uh, have found the taste mediocre to unsatisfactory. And almost all of them wanted more options. Well, after all, hamburgers and sausages are not everyone's favorite food here in Korea, and probably most Asian nations. Well, in addition to the, the insufficient taste and variety of plant-based meat, uh, second is the problem of convenience and, and accessibility. Well, for many urban middle-class Korean households, especially with working parents and young professionals, cooking a quality meal is simply not an option. And with the rise of quality home meal replacements, uh, and competitive delivery networks, most are opting for ready-made meals. Accessibility is another hurdle for daily access to plant-based food at your favorite cafes, restaurants, and markets is simply lacking in Korea, and probably for most Asian nations. Well, at Bright Belly and Organica, our solution to address these problems uh, is to plug in two additional major trends in the global food industry. First is Asian food and second, prepared meals. Well, first, as you know, Asian food is the fastest growing category in the global food industry, rising 500% in the past two decades, compared to 90% for uh, fast foods such as burgers and pizzas, less than 100% for Latin food, and 150% for Middle Eastern foods. Well, for example, kalgi and bulgogi from Korea, stir-fried noodles and rice and mapo tofu from China, uh, yakiniku, meat-based ramen, hamburger steak from Japan, uh, meat curry, nasi goreng, pad thai from Southeast Asia. These offer delicious and sophisticated options that can be enjoyed on a daily basis, far more than burgers and sausages. Well, secondly, uh, frozen is one of the biggest blockbuster food trends resulting from the COVID-19 era. Well, uh, with close to 60% of Korean consumers answering they often or nearly all the time eat frozen foods for dinner. In fact, frozen food 
sales growth outpaced that of total stores and edibles by 20% across all supermarkets in 2020. While Bread Belly and Organica focus on creating nutritionally balanced and deliciously cooked prepared meals delivered to your home and easily prepared in a few minutes in a microwave or oven, we also offer refrigerated versions of plant-based meals at such cafes as Starbucks and Coffee Bean, such convenience stores as 7-Eleven, and such companies and delivery networks as Samsung Electronics and, and Korea Yakult. By offering easy-to-cook, ready-to-eat, frozen and refrigerated uh, meals online at markets and, and restaurants and via delivery networks, we're trying to uh, make plant-based eating a much more convenient and accessible experience for all. Well, in addition to offering delicious varieties and convenient experiences, a local champion has one critical advantage, obvious one, namely the price. Well, currently imported alternative meat, such as Beyond Meat Patty, cost over twice more than domestic plant-based patties such as ours. So by coupling uh, alternative meat with the radically diverse and popular Asian recipes and highly convenient format of prepared meals, uh, together with cost advantages, we are fast bringing uh, uh, plant-based meat into the mainstream of Korea. And mostly we believe that this strategy is applicable to the rest of Asia and ultimately the rest of the world. Well, just to recap what you already know, uh, by year uh, 2030, Asia's population will be 250 million and larger, constituting 45% of the world's population. Urbanizing faster than any other region in the world, Asia will represent 65% of the world's middle-class population by the same year. And these wealthy Asians will more than double their total food spending to 8 trillion US dollars by 2030. Furthermore, while the silver generation, generation will be important, uh, Asia will house 56% of the world's population between 15 and 24 year olds. And naturally, one of the fundamental developments uh, in Asia will be booming uh, middle class and young populations, well educated, socially conscious, who will increasingly demand more premium plant based food suited to their palates and lifestyles. Well, Korea, a country which has been an innovator and trendsetter in both technological and creative industries, will be a prime test bed for the entire Asian market today. Uh, one who champions the Korean plant-based market uh, will be well positioned to assert its leadership in greater Asia. And whoever comes out a winner in Asia is likely to be a dominant player on the global stage. And I am convinced that by combining plant-based food with the universal popularity of Asian recipes and the unmatched convenience of pre prepared meals, we will have a winning formula, not only for Korea, but also for Asia and beyond. Well, that's my 10 minutes, and regrettably, I can't take your questions online, but please feel free to forward your questions and comments to me at jwhong at organica.kr. Well, thank you again for joining me today, and I look forward to working with you in this great next wave of, of the plant-based revolution in Korea and Asia. Goodbye.